In this video, I'm going to show you how you can rename a page within .NET Nuke. I'll also talk to you about a few of the things you need to consider when you are renaming a page within the platform. Now, I'm going to go ahead and navigate to any of the pages on the website. I'll start with the About Us page. Let's say we want to change the name of that page to simply be About instead of About Us. Well, you'll notice if we navigate to that page, the URL is aboutus.aspx. And that's something that's important to remember, and I'll show you why here in a few moments. Now, editing the page, or changing the name of the page, is very simple to do. To do so, we're going to mouse over the Edit Page option, and we're going to go to the Page Settings. If we go to the Page Settings, we're going to pop up window here, which will allow us to change some of the properties on that page. The very first property there is Page Name. So if we go ahead and change the name, just remove the space and the US, Go ahead and click Update Page, and that allows us to change the name of the page. So the page has been renamed. In the menu, it's listed as About. In the URL, it is listed as About. Now here's the problem with renaming a page. That original URL, which was AboutUs.ASPX, no longer works, and returns a 404 for a missing page or a missing resource. So that's actually pretty bad. If you have pages that you rename and there are other pages on your site that still link to those pages or even pages on other websites that link to those pages, those existing links will no longer work. So instead of renaming a page, typically what you would do is actually create a new page with the new name. Then you would redirect the old page to the newly renamed page. We'll talk about redirects within .NET Nuke pages in some of the additional videos found within the .NET Nuke video library.